talking spoilers for the ending of the Marvels and what to expect next. Throughout the film, we learn that the villain Darbin is going around different planets that Captain Marvel called home and taking their resources to get revenge on her for destroying her home planet, Hala. With the help of the Quantum Band, she's able to create jump points in space to take the resources, but needed the full set to complete her quest. Which she inevitably does, but the power for both bands ends up killing her. Before dying, she ends up ripping a hole in space, which brings another reality into their own, leaving Monica to coming up with the idea to having Captain Marvel and Miss Marvel shooting her with their energy to fix this tear. Monica is able to close it, but ends up getting stuck behind in another reality. We end with seeing Miss Marvel having a callback to earlier in the film when she found out she was being entailed. She pulls a Nick Fury from Iron Man 1 and she recruits Kate Bishop into joining her team that she's putting together, aka the Young Avengers. I have a separate video talking about what happened with Monica in the post credit scene, so keep an eye out for that. But let's talk about that ending. Young Avengers, y'all. They've been building this since the beginning of Phase 4 with obviously the boys from WandaVision, Falcon and Winter Soldier, Loki, Hawkeye as well as Cassie Lane from Ant-Man. So they've been building this team, but the question is, when will we see them? Hell, we don't even have the Avengers as a team. Will we see them in Kane Dynasty, Secret Wars? That's the big question. Putting that aside for a second, who else loved the energy between Kate and Kamala? I can't wait to see more of these characters. But again, the big question is, when will we see the Young Avengers? credit scene shows Monica awakening in a mysterious location after getting stuck in a new reality after fixing a tear in space that the villain Darwin created before dying. She's on a recovering bed and is caught completely off guard and begins crying after she sees who she believes is her mom, Marie, who is now alive. She quickly learns that this isn't her mom, but instead this is another reality, and Marie goes by Binary, which is the name Captain Marvel went by in the Uncanny X-Men comics. As we see Hank McCoy, aka Beast, comes in to let Monica know that she is in another reality, and he's going to tell Professor X of this impossible discovery. Leaving Binary asks in Monica who she is. Another example of the MCU slowly but surely building to the X-Men, but the question is, what reality is Monica in? Like, we obviously met the 838 that isn't this universe because obviously that version of professor x is dead have we met this universe before is this brand new i'm excited for it i don't know when we're gonna see monica in this universe again like will we have to wait to seek rewards kane dynasty or before that i mean we do have a low-key finale coming soon let me know what you all thought of that mid credit scene when will we see monica again what universe is this and the big question at hand are you excited to see more of the x-men